Hello, everybody. Welcome to the finale of Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. Uh, last time we did all of the races, and then it forced us into the boss fight. And then I exited into the trophy race. So you got a nice little glimpse at the track last time. But this time we will take out Whizpig for good. That giant menacing door is doing its own thing. Now, um, there's some kind of glitch in this game where you can get TT to push you into the boss door. I don't really know exactly how it works. It's really weird. But, like, if you look up a speed run, they definitely don't do the silver coin challenges. Oh, again, I'm a clock, not a worm. That's not very nice, Whizpig. I'd, I'd appreciate it if you apologized. Like, it, it got off your rocket, maybe shook my hand. Oh, you're not gonna do that, are you? Well, fuck you, then I'm gonna beat you in a race! That's, that's all I have to say to you, you asshole. Um, please don't crash into everything. Uh, that would be very nice if I, if I would not crash into everything. Ow! Just, just shoot him down, we're being marked! Except he doesn't see just at the start of that. Also, it's mildly ridiculous how little uh, shooting Whizpig will actually slow him down. Uh, it does basically nothing. Uh, well, it, it doesn't do nothing, but it does very little. Uh, let's let's just go with that. Uh, let's boost into that, and then, damn it, I hit the wall. Oh well, that's not really a huge deal. I have three laps to catch slash keep up. Uh, this. I, I said before that Dark Moon Caverns would probably be the longest race in the game. Uh, I lied. This one is probably longer. Uh, if you do it perfectly, it's not, but it's really hard to do perfectly. Uh, as you can tell, like, Whizpig sort of does it perfectly, but he also slows down in certain areas, and you get boosts, and he cuts corners kind of wide. And dude, I am sucking the big one. This this is awful. Uh, and I, I also love how you can skip the cutscene, but you can also see, like, a brighter purple area of the wall where he busts out of. Um, right, right while the cutscene is playing, it's it's kind of awkward. I I don't really know what's the deal with that. Um, it's not crash into anything. Just get this red balloon. Get this other red balloon. Basically, all the commentary that I can make for this is like, this is how you do this race. And give me money. Thank you. Give me money and give me views. That's all I care about in life. Is money and views. Actually, that makes me sound like um, a lot of popular YouTube people's, I, I don't know, I'm not going to name anyone specifically because, um, yeah, that would, that would be rude. PewDiePie, I could name him specifically, he seems to care about, like, getting money and views, and that's basically about it. Um, there are definitely some other people, uh, that, that I could name off the top of my head that only care about money and views, not really that much about actually making good content, which is kind of a bummer. I, I feel it's, it's bad how corporate YouTube has become. And I know I've talked about this, like, dude, stop fucking hitting the rocks, you piece of shit. <laughs> like, what the hell? I have paid a lot of patience for racing games, but, like, this race in particular, I just have no patience for whatsoever. For no good reason. Just, like, basically, I'm just impatient. Dude! <laughs> Seriously? Like, right at the start? What the hell game? Like, I don't know why I have no patience for the ra this race. Probably because I just couldn't beat it as a kid. Um... And hopefully I won't do, like, another slow descent into madness like I did for the, uh, the, the fucking octopus race. That's, in all honesty, the octopus race is probably the hardest boss in the game, I would say. He's probably harder than Whizpig the second time. Um, I'd say Whizpig the first time is probably close to as hard as this time. But as you can see, like, as soon as I got tip-top going on, like, some tip-top action going on for that race, I was, like, I was golden. Uh, but not the kind of golden, as in golden showers. Um, nobody likes golden showers, except for people who enjoy golden showers, in which case, that is your business, not mine. So, uh, yeah, deal with that in your, your own way. I also love how there's fucking lasers just shooting you out of nowhere. Like, there's conceivably nothing shooting you with, with lasers. D Ow! What even hit me? It was probably a laser, but, like, that's... Seriously, like, <laughs> I didn't even see anything. That's, that's what's kind of annoying in this race, is that, like, sometimes something will shoot you and you'll have, like, no idea what it was. Uh, wow, Whizpig actually crashes into one of these lasers. That's, that's kind of a thing. Laser! Oh my god, I crashed right into the thing. It sucks, oh my god, what the fuck? Wow, that was, that was the most random, terrible, terrible-ass song I've ever sang in my entire life. See, I... I kind of feel like I should just, like, cut to my successful attempt, but at the same time, I kind of feel bad because, A, TT just got hit with the lava, 
And that's like a bad thing for TT because TT is now dead. You stupid clock. You, you, you deserve that death. You really did. You honestly and truly, I feel, deserved to die right there. Um, and I missed the, uh, the red, the red thing. That's <laughs> basically all I can describe it as. There's no way I'm gonna win this. This is quite the bummer. You know what's odd that I just noticed, like, just now? Is that Wizpig doesn't take a head start in this race. I find that so weird, because, like, most of the bosses take head starts, especially the fucking dragon. Like, it's mildly ridiculous how much of a head start he takes. Uh, but Wizpig, for some reason, is just like, yeah, you know what, I'll go easy on you, and, uh, doesn't take one, which I find to be, like, the oddest thing, because, whoa, the sweetest thing. Baby's got blue skies. Something. Oh my fucking god. Stop shooting me. There's like no conceivable way to tell where the bullets are going. It's really annoying. Hooray for hitboxes. What the hell was that? I just crashed right through that ship. Like, like whatever. That's, that's totally fine. Dude, way to crash into three lasers in a row. Wow. Good job, TT. You are just the greatest. Actually... I will say, this is probably the hardest track in the adventure mode, but, like, the hardest track in, like, the, the like, straight-up game is probably still Greenwood Village, I would say. It's, it's pretty difficult, I, I would honestly say that it's probably, well, it, it's one of my favorites, but it's also pretty hard, so, yeah. I also don't know if you can go into the hole that Wizpig made. I know that there's a way to, like, clip out of bounds in this race, uh... In, uh, I'll show you sort of the section that you're supposed to do it in, uh, but I think you need a blue boost. It's like somewhere over here. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. It's like it's like right right here that you can clip out of bounds. And basically, what you do is you just like you you take like a a second level boost and you just boost like right right into uh, the ground. And uh, if you do it right, I think you have to barrel roll as well uh, at the at the right time. But if you do it right, uh, you clip out of bounds. And uh, you can basically go along the inside of the track and just wipe the floor with Whizpig. It's mildly ridiculous. I'm actually doing not that bad this time. Like, I'm still pretty far behind, but I'm not I'm not far enough behind that I can't catch up, I will say. Dude, stop running into the lasers. God damn it. I swear to God, there's like more lasers every goddamn lap. Now my nose is like insanely itchy. What the hell? Oh, oh, my nose. My nose. Oh. Bring on the thunder! Just, 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 just play through the pain! I don't know why I'm playing through the pain, but I am, and I will continue to do it. No, I can't. I got a scratch. Oh my god. No, I'm restarting. It's unwinnable at this point. Oh my nose! My nose! Dude, what the hell was that? He just crashed right into me. You were an asshole. I was gonna say eat lead, motherfucker, but apparently you're just, like, too big of a dick. Dude, what the hell? I got zapped while I had the the power shield up. That was... That's not cool, game. So, is, so are drugs. Drugs aren't cool. For some reason. Except they probably are. Don't do drugs, kids. You know why I keep failing this race? Because these fucking asteroids... And because Whizpig keeps bumping into me like that. And because when you're really close to the ground, you can't turn sharp. Because the airplane's wings can't clip through the ground. It could make you go up a little bit, but no. No, it's just gonna do the, the logical thing and just, like, make you, like, hit the ground. Or, like, not be able to turn. Because fuck you. And they just want to make the game artificially harder. Like that! The freaking lasers! The track is already hard enough, why do you need fucking lasers everywhere? Oh my god! I might get out a freaking gun and just shoot Whizpig in the dick! Ah, oh, I'm frustrated right now. And I've only been at this for like 15 minutes, but like I've probably reset like a good 30 times. Because like, every time I bump into something, I'm like, nope, reset. Most of my resets are within the first 15 seconds of the goddamn race. I'd be lucky if I, like, make one lap. I've probably made a lap, like, three times since I started doing this. Because it's like, ah, oh, it's mildly ridiculous. Oh my god, just turn, TT. Turn like you've never turned before. I don't think you've ever turned before, goddammit. What the fuck was that? You just, like, looped right into the ground. TT, what are you doing to me, buddy? Oh, I thought I would have sniped him there for a second. 
Dang. Dang. Detach the rear vehicle. That's, that's what I always think of whenever I hear somebody say dang. Because dang is just one of those words that I, like, never hear anybody use. Because, like, it's, it's one of those, like, very, very, like, extremely soft swear words. Like, it's not really a swear word, but, like, there are certain, like, religions that consider dang to be a swear, which is really dumb. And he's coming into the lead, into the third lap, and he's in the lead, now he's not, and he fucked up as soon as he started talking. Oh my goodness, why do I talk over this game? This feels like such a mistake right now. Oh my god, I was, I was actually doing really well, and then I, like, I started talking, and I, like, instantly shit the bed, because my brain went from, like, trying to race mode to commentary mode, and that was just awful, but in this section, I could give you a little bit of a tip. Don't go for the balloons, uh, except for the purple one right at the end, because that's, like, the only one that's worth going for, because it's not, like, absurdly out of the way, but, like, if you go in here, and you're, like, doing a thing and like fucking some bitches up and then and then you come in here and you get the blue boost and then you lose to whiz pig at the it's still cross the goddamn finish line oh! oh that's that's morbid i haven't actually seen this cutscene yet because i've reset every time he's never actually beaten me yet which is kind of sad and now i have to drive back in i have to turn around too that's a slap in the face anyways back into the race we shall go a hush comes over the green. The only sound that can be heard is Bender calling everyone else a jerk as he swings! Already oh, duffed it! Oh, into the water! Oh. It's into the wall, I guess. Probably more accurate because A, we're not golfing, uh, and B, uh, I just ran right into the wall, so yeah, it's definitely more appropriate. Dude! I didn't say do a loop! I said do a barrel roll! No, restarting. Wow, that, that was a good example of the frame-perfect pause buffer that I've been trying to show off, and I haven't actually tried it, but that was a frame-perfect pause uh, thing to go back and restart the race, because uh, it still showed up that I was in second, and uh, I got to go back and pause. So that's, that's actually frame-perfect, which is kind of funny, because this game, I believe, runs at 60 FPS, I've never actually checked it. It would be pretty easy to check, seeing as though, like, there's a timer in the game. So you just check, like, uh, every, every six, every second frame. Because this, this records, for me, at 120 frames per second. No idea why my capture card just sort of does that. Uh, but, but I could check, like, every second frame and be like, okay, did the timer move? It might even record at 120, but there's no point in, in checking to see that. Because YouTube can only upload up to... a uh, 60. I almost said 160, but that would be completely false, but that would be completely awesome because, uh, stuff and things. Uh, also, there would be no point because I think the human eye can only detect 80 frames a second, I believe, is the number. I'm not entirely sure. Wow! Way to shoot your fucking homing missile way right into the wall, you dumbass. Good job, TT. Uh, yeah, so my recording's at 26 minutes. So if I talked over every single one of these races, this would be a 26 minute long video uh, because I basically started this immediately. Sometimes I'll just like sit there and like have a drink or whatever and like just hang out for a second before I actually, like after I hit record but before I start talking, use the, use the thing. There was one, there was one attempt at this where I, I had a shield, didn't use it in that section and uh, got hit like four times and I'm like, Jesus Christ, what the hell. It would be nice to have one in this section, too, because it seems like I get shot more here than anywhere else, which is mildly ridiculous, but whatever. Uh, I will get the homing missile this time, because A, you can cut the corner more, and B, uh, you can shoot him with the homing missile, which is very nice. If, if he just so happens to get ahead of me, which is a very distinct possibility, I'm not entirely sure. I'm doing, doing on track here, though. This is definitely on track for victory. Come on, TT! You can do it! Don't crash into any walls! Don't get fucked up by the laser beam thingies! Uh, just go use the thing! Use the boost to get through! Don't fall behind for no reason! Don't hit an asteroid because I would probably kill you! Oh my god! Yes! Victorious! Oh my goodness, that, was, that felt really good. That didn't feel as good as the octopus victory or like the dragon victory because not. Like, that wasn't a very clenched victory, which kind of me leaves me to believe it's kind of anticlimactic, but he his rocket still explodes, and he's like, T 
To the moon, Alice. To the moon. Oh my goodness. And he's just like, gone. Okay, bye. Bye, whiz pig. Bye. Wait, he's a wizard. Wouldn't he just be able to teleport himself back? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Also, is that the lighthouse that he's racing on? I feel like that's the lighthouse. Uh, no, it's not. It's, like, definitely just some random rocket ship. That would have been cool if he was racing on top of the lighthouse. I think that would have been a really nice touch, but unfortunately, no. They did not program that in. And rainbows have gone over Timber Island, and dear God, there's a giant, terrifying golden elephant statue. And they're doing the limbo. Banjo just looks so squished and really uncomfortable. It definitely looks like Crunch is putting something in him. That, that's very odd. There's a pterodactyl. Pterodactyls just like roam this island. No big deal. Like, whatever. <laughs> and giant golden elephant statues. I don't know why Taj gets that. I think TT should get it because TT was the one who won. Oh, it's the Triceratops boss. Yay. Oh, he's so happy. He has two kids, too. Uh, that's kind of cool. And Pipsy. That's, that's odd. Um, why the hell is Pipsy with the Triceratops? She's, is she like a mouse that just transforms into, into a Triceratops at will? That would be very, very strange. I, I have no idea what's the deal with that. But, uh, there's, there's more. There's Drumstick just flying towards the walrus. And Triceratops just ditched his kids and now he's just running in circles. TT's just hanging out. Conker's like, oh my god, I can fly! Oh wait, no, I'm hammered. I can't. And then the dragon. The dragon just looks peaceful all the time, though. He's got someone on his back. I didn't see who it was. Kind of hard to tell. Uh, is that Timber? Yeah, that's Timber. Timber, arguably the most useless character in the entire game. Except for maybe Crunch. Um, and Diddy's just like, hanging around like, yeah, whatever, I can fly, motherfucker. I'm gonna fly towards this giant elephant thing. I'm gonna cut off those giant tusks for the ivory, and uh, we're gonna have a good time, so... So yeah, that's gonna be a thing. Uh, but yeah, that is... That is Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. Apparently there's more cutscenes. Oh god, Whizpig is coming back. They left it open for a sequel. That will probably never get made. Unfortunately. And now you get like some different track music. I don't- I can't recall off the top of my head what music this track belongs to. I think it's Crescent Island. I, I don't remember. I'm not- I'm not too too sure, but yeah. Second credit sequence. This time, TT actually having his picture in there makes sense because, uh, yeah, that's that's a thing. I I sort of figured out at a very young age that you could unlock TT. I just never unlocked him because I never found Future Funland. But yeah, uh, he is definitely the best character in the game. I would say, um, and I'm very glad that I unlocked him on screen. Sort of, I guess. I I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's that's Diddy Kong Racing. Uh, very very good racing game. One of the best ever made, I would say. Uh, the mechanics are a, a bit weird in spots, like sometimes there's a little bit of clipping issues, and flying with the plane and the hovercraft is a little bit awkward sometimes. Some of the characters have really bad handling. What am I talking about? This is a fucking awful racing game. No, I'm kidding. This is a really good racing game. It's a lot of fun. If you haven't played it, uh, I would definitely recommend giving it a try. You could probably just walk into a GameStop or something like that. And just bust up and be like, yo, I want Diddy Kong Racing DS, and they'd probably just be like, yeah, we've got 80 copies. Like, because that game, I think that game sold well, but everybody traded it in because it was awful. I've been looking for a copy at, like, EB Games stores to try and, like, get for super cheap, but I don't know if it would be super cheap. And also, I haven't found one, so, so yeah, but I kind of feel like it wouldn't be super, super rare or anything like that because it was made by Rare. Eh? Eh? No, the bad thing about the DS remake is that. Uh, characters such as Banjo, Conker, Tip Top, uh, basically any property of Rare, uh, any, I think all the original characters, no, I think, uh, Timber's still there, um, and, uh, Bumper's still there, and Pipsy, I think, is also still there, but those are, uh, that's, it's really neutered for the lineup, but you can actually race as Todd, so I'd say that probably makes up for it. Oh, and, and, uh, part 14 just finished rendering, that's, that's kind of cool, that's, that's a thing, um, but... To be continued, question mark, music menu, jukebox, yeah, and that's how you get the sound test. So yeah, you get one code for beating Whizpig the first time, another code for beating him the second time, and I believe uh, for, these are my time trial times, if you want to try and beat them, go for it. Uh, it's probably pretty easy to beat a lot of them, uh, so yeah, but 
Uh, I, I don't know if that's time trial or, like, the in-game times of just, like, the best time. Treasure Cave's 55 seconds, holy crap. Or that might be Staff Ghosts, actually. Because I don't recall ever getting close to that fast on Treasure Caves. Like, I really don't, but maybe, I, I don't know, I could have possibly. Um, but yeah, if you want to try and beat those times, go for it. Uh, I would, I would like to see it. Snowball Valley, yeah, definitely, those are staff times, uh, because I never got even close to that on Snowball Valley. I suck at Snowball Valley. Haunted Woods, I might have gotten close to that, or maybe beaten that, I don't know. Haunted Woods is pretty easy, though, I would say. Windmill Plains, that's a, honestly, not that good of a time, I would say. But, but that's, that's my opinion. Spaceport Alpha, that's a really good time. Uh, Dark Moon Caverns, that's a really good time. I think the best I got was about 110, well, 210. 110, holy crap. World record time, oh my god. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. I had a lot of fun doing this LP. Uh, stay tuned next time for Let's Play Mother 3. Until then, thank you guys very much for watching, and have a wonderful tomorrow.